culture of the Eritrean still it's not developing I mean they don't we don't believe on equality of you know gender we are trying to remind the women they can do everything what can what they want and to remind the men to help the you know to their wife to, to help their sister just to support them if the woman is educated and if she has the chance she can change her, her family life her community life, her country life. In Eritrea, we have a dictatorship. People are in the military service for unlimited period of time. Uh, and women, even especially for the women, uh, they are married in their early age because if they will go to the military service, then the commanders can do whatever they want. They are like slaves of the commanders. They can ask them to sleep with them, so the family, they scared. They are pushing them to go to marriage. Even if after a marriage, the men are always into the military service. So everything is on her, and the salary of the military service is so small, around $10 with an amount. They are struggling on their way especially in Saina. Most of them, they are in the torture camp of Saina. Most of them, they were pregnant from the semi-glares. They were directed by, you know, a lot of people. Honestly, it's my heart is broken in every day because the women who are coming are single mothers, so vulnerable women, disabled women. I'm always seeing their tear, I'm hearing their pain, but they can't do anything. We still we are suffering. We don't need to stay here. But we can't go back to our country. Because if we will go, we'll get arrested, we'll get killed without any judge. So we don't have choice. If the system of the government system is changed, you know, everybody wants to back to our country, but we don't have choice. So we have to stay here until the system is going to change. <laughs>